Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Baby Birds channel. It's been a while. <laughs> I'm not sure how long. A couple of weeks. I've been back at work. My son has moved on to his new life. I get my dolly room back. I'm so happy. I do have it uh, pretty much completed, three quarters of the way completed. Um, I still have to go downstairs into my storage room and take some things back upstairs and put them in their spot. But, <laughs> and here I am thinking I have a lot of dolls, I have a large collection, and I have box openings from Timu. I have three dolls here. Um, Two of them are like reborn type replica dolls and one is another little mini one to add to my Paola dolls. So, or I'm not even sure exactly what brand they are. I'll show you. But this one here is, is from Chimu. <laughs> Wait. <coughs> I'm starting to cough. Excuse me, guys. But these, I have three dolls from Timu. They all came in a bag. And then this is inside that bag. As you can see, it's a little bit squished. But I'm sure that the contents are okay. So I can't wait to show you this doll. Um, my friend Daisy has this doll. In fact, she has a few dolls in this sculpt. She turned them alternative. And they are so beautiful. And you know what? It's been so long since I bought an authentic kit that I don't even know the names of all the sculpts anymore that, like I used to. I used to go on McPherson's and know all the kit names and look at them and recognize all the dolls. And now I can't. Ever since probably COVID, I... Um, the last authentic doll I purchased was the Max Sculpt by Laura Lee Eagles. So, and then all the others, um, I have a lot of replicas, but that was my last authentic one. So, I know you can't see, but I, this is what I see, some feet poking in. <laughs> okay, uh, Mojo is sitting here. Oh, she's beautiful. Look, this is what I see. <laughs> They're actually longer than I thought. So, this is what comes. It says a Danaki, a Danaki. So yeah, I just saw the sculpt and I thought, hey, it's so pretty, I can twin cousin with Daisy. And this is what she's wearing, which is really, I love it. There's the diaper, the, the diapers I never used. <laughs> Oh wow, her vinyl is soft. Make sure I'm recording. I need to make room on my phone. It's really bleak out here. Fall is finally coming in Northern Canada. Oh, look at this outfit. I love it. Totally got distracted. Oh wow, she's soft. Ah, she's beautiful. She's full vinyl. Oh, look at this outfit. Isn't it kind of strange that the dolls are more colorful than me? <laughs> I'm so pale. Oh, she's cute. I never even thought of a name for these ones because when I ordered them, I was still on holidays, the last end of my holidays. And now that I'm back at work, I've been so, so busy. Oh, I can't remember what the last time I told you what I was teaching this year. My um, teaching position, <laughs> she's uh, getting distracted. It comes with 
this past far my teaching position um changed from a grade five over the summer to a grade seven so i am again the grade seven teacher that's cute i have so many of those pacifiers but i have real ones too Ooh, wow so soft you're beautiful <laughs> She's beautiful. Look at her eyes. Now, who do you look like to me? Your hair is so pretty. Your hair is so pretty. <laughs> She's not wearing a diaper now, though, but she is full vinyl. And this is how tall she is, so. Ah. Uh, and she's. I was going to say. Uh, she's not that flat, flat backed. Like, um. Her vinyl is soft. She's different. See if there's anything on the neck. And there isn't. Well, she has some sort of form. <laughs> oh, you're pretty, and now your hair is all messy. <laughs> now her <laughs> She's cute. You look like a Susu. Or, or is that your... What replica is she? <clears throat> So she is one. Oh, she's so pretty. She is so pretty. I'm happy with you. Okay. Put you in a sitting position and sit you there. Okay, the next one I'll show you is the small doll. Um, my friend Daisy also has a sculpt like this she might even have I think she even has more than one of this as well yeah she does she has more than one also alternative we love our alternative dolls let's see this one. oh she's small and she's cute oh you can't see the lighting it's like it's very cloudy it looks rainy yeah, there is some light. Oh, wow. She is like her knees are. Oh, I love this outfit. Oh, my hat just came off. <laughs> look at this face. <laughs> you look Asian and so cute. Oh, my goodness. She's, she's actually bigger than I thought. But look, but look at her knees. And I love this outfit. Wow, it's nice. And she has slightly, like, indented hair or... <laughs> she looks kind of grumpy again. I don't know about the grumpy babies. <laughs> Oh, you're still sweet, but we need to maybe put earrings on you. So she is also full vinyl. Nothing written on the neck. Oh, I can't even see with that sun. I mean, it's not sunny. It's so bright. Oh, I like her. She needs an ethnic name, an indigenous name. For sure, you need. Wow. <laughs> she's giving me the impression, not grumpy, but like she's talking, 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 talking. Like when she's down like this, looking at me. She has so much to say. Oh my goodness. 
<laughs> you have so much to say. Okay, one more. I'm so happy. Okay, I'm just trying to make room for all this. What's this that came with? English version. Full body, vinyl doll, head, and limbs can rotate freely, blah, blah, blah. Information little sheet. Oh, you're so cute. One more. I can't remember if this other one is like a kit or an already made doll. Judging by the size of the box, it's an already made doll. Oh, and here's the hat that she came with. She needs like a, an M name. A name that I'm not used to. Like, the, you, she needs an ethnic name, is what I'm saying. <clears throat> By the way, Bonnie is here. And I can't wait to share her with you. Maybe very, very soon. I just finally made room on my laptop so I can make videos again. And upload them. Um, what's with the... What's with the less and less storage space these days? It's like they want you to buy, like, external hard drives and stuff just to, just to be able to do the normal things you can do on a laptop, like how it used to be. <laughs> oh, okay, she's a full baby. Let's see. Oh, and a lovely pink. Lovely, but of course I had to choose the doll that was wearing pink. <gasps> oh, okay, I'm just totally going to throw it. Toss it. Oh, she came with a bottle? I'm just... Oh, she's so pretty. I have been eyeing up this replica for a long, long, long time. So this one... I did buy from this before the Octard dolls. Otard. Otard. Whatever. <laughs> Sorry if I'm wasting time. Oh, wait. She gave, oh, she's so cute. I can't wait to show you. But look, it came with a bottle wrapped in this, which is the first time I've seen. Then wrap a ball or a bottle. And I can't even. Oh, I just really want to see the design she's falling off of my lap. There's really thick tape on it. I don't want to scratch up the bottle. Oh, and this kind. I like this kind. Yay! So this is a kind with the Nani's no or I shouldn't I'm not sure if Nani made this but Nani's no hole nipple that means that there's no hole. But we used to call these the Nani's no hole because that's what she used to sell. So I don't know if other companies make that probably. Oh uh, Here she is. Look at that face. Look at that face. <laughs> She's so beautiful. <laughs> Look at that face. Oh my goodness. Wow. This outfit. She's wearing a diaper already. Normally they don't do that. This is thick and high and like... Not extremely high quality, but pretty decent. Like, it's thick. Wow, what kind of material is this? It's like, like, thick like denim, but it's not denim. Are you recording? Ah, oh, she a little baby. They're cute. <laughs> Wait, is she full vinyl? She is full vinyl. Yes! I am... Oh, I see. Her head fell off her head. This is a... 
This is supposed to be a headband. Wow, it's awfully tight. Um, <laughs> it's awfully tight on you. Oh my goodness, you're so beautiful. I think it's upside down. Wait, I'm trying to fix. This headband had rolled off of her. <laughs> Oh, you're so pretty. She is also a vinyl. And look at this beautiful outfit. Wow, it's thick. And she is wearing a diaper. So it just needs to be poofed up. Oh, you're beautiful. You're both beautiful. You're all beautiful. What I'm noticing more and more about the replicas is that they are coming to us like non-shiny, which is in the beginning they were shiny a bit, like not all of them, but quite a lot of them. This one is not shiny. <laughs> Look at your face. You have so much to tell me, don't you? <laughs> She's cute. I love it. Anyways, there was something I wanted to tell you. Thank you, by the way, for joining me and opening these beautiful babies. I have to think of some names, which is a fun part of this hobby. I do love um, naming them. I'm just setting her down. They can all sit, which is wonderful. Um, I forgot what kind of thing. Um, 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 um. <laughs> As you know, my collection is very huge. I collect both... Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm just dulling in. I, I've been teaching all week. I feel like I'm just getting into my teaching mode. And I'm done with my teaching mode right now. <laughs> Many years ago... I considered myself a reborn collector, but there was also part of me that loved to um, be a reborn mommy. That, that part of me was a little bit hidden because back in my day of beginning 2015, 2016, and 17, the earlier on, role play was considered immature. And I had friends back then that kind of peer pressured into not doing the things that I really wanted to do. However, even though saying that, I did do a few role playing videos. I did what I wanted to do. But behind the scenes, I used to get a lot of ridicule and um, embarrassment and... Um, I mean, sometimes I go through phases where I'm like, I don't care what you say, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. I don't have many friends in this hobby anyway, so it's okay. But then there are times when I know that people are talking behind the scenes and I feel judged, I feel embarrassed, ridiculed. Um, it's not a fun feeling. And even everyone goes through it, I know. But when I come on here on my platform, I have many opinions about this hobby. And I know that my friends have many opinions about their hobby. But when you start discussing your opinions or um, expressing them, a Oh, many people start expressing them in a way where when they're delivering their message, it's like that's the only way how it should be. In other words, I'm going to tell you my beliefs and I don't care about other beliefs. There are a lot of people that do videos like that in this hobby, in the Reborn hobby over the years. And back in the day, like, talking about alternative reborns, talking about large collections, talking about um, the types of reborns I was collecting. Like 
when I started, I did want a huge diversity. I wanted it all. I wanted bald babies, painted hair babies. I wanted rooted hair babies. I wanted babies with belly plates, um, full body vinyl plates. I wanted, um, even just as the twin A and twin B has just like the strip of belly plate and same with the Evie by Lowly Eagles. Um, I wanted the combination hair, which is painted hair and rooted hair. I wanted um, blue eyed, brown eyed, green eyed. I wanted different like cultures. I wanted babies that looked like me. I wanted uh, red headed babies, blonde babies, um, AA babies, African American babies. I wanted different skin tones. I wanted, uh, I just wanted that diversity from preemie all the way up to child size. I have babies of all sizes. And that was my goal, was to collect so many different types. And I remember even watching videos or hearing friends reading comments saying little, little things of information, even how we weighted our dolls. Like, oh, using only this is wrong, or using only sand is wrong, or I don't know. It's just, there's just so many different perspectives in this hobby that, and along with the peer pressure, like hearing my friends say, oh, large collections are bad, um, um, whatever the case may be, like using lotion and water is the wrong way to make fake milk, stuff like that. It did get to me and I did feel ashamed embarrassed and <laughs> discriminated against actually and it wasn't always a fun feeling so I always told myself I would never really participate in discussion videos because we all have different perspectives we all have different opinions and actually even the environment like for instance um there was people saying like, oh, don't use Wonder Wafers in the diapers because they will stain eventually. You'll get a blue mark on your cloth body. That never happened to me because I live in a dry environment. <sighs> dry and cold environment, mind you. So it also depends on where you live. Uh, for instance, I tried fabric softener as a fake milk in my bottles. And over time, they totally solidified. And that happened to some people and that ha didn't happen to other people. It just depends on where you live. I don't know. What's my point? My point is, is that I love to be open-minded in this community and within the hobby. I accept the different personalities. I understand that there are a lot of different personalities and perspectives and beliefs that, I don't know, it's just to be human. I mean, just be loving and caring to all. So anyways, my phone <laughs> is um, telling me I'm running out of time. I need to get rid of or get some space. Uh, I'm starting to ramble now. I'm starting to ramble. But I love these babies. They're all vinyl. They're not cloth body. And oh, I just got to chill. Just got to chill. I got, my ear was tickling me. <laughs> so, oh, you're okay. Let's think of a name for you like right now. Vanessa. You're a Vanessa. Vanessa. Is that your name? Vivi for short? Is that your name? V? Vivi? Aw, she's so cute. So this is Vanessa and Vivi for short. And I would love to show you Bonnie. Oh my goodness. I need to show you Bonnie before I go. So I will be right back. I will show you her. Remember, she's alternative. Don't be scared of her. <laughs> So this is the what the swan that I bought for Bonnie. Um, I showed you this in a video, but I didn't open it. I opened it with her. Now Bonnie came to me in a beautiful dress, but 
for now she's wearing her jammies that uh, she came with as a swan on it but this here is Bonnie <laughs> isn't she beautiful and look her artist made us the same beauty marks oh she's so cute yes you are did you see that little thing go by it's probably dust. I have to dust around her. So she does have her tattoos on her. She's very beautiful. I told her that she's like Buddha inspired. Oh, she's so beautiful. Hi, Bonnie. And her mo her her mother, her creator, her artist. Put her hair like this but I was thinking today I would love to put them into ponytails and oh and by the way she also has let's see she has a lovely tattoo right there she's so beautiful aren't you so beautiful <laughs> bye bye hello so her artist surprised me. Her artist is Daisy Skyheart. And um, Daisy has a sister for her. I didn't even know. Yes. Yes, yeah, she made you a sister. And her sister I named Annalicia. And here is Annalicia. She is another Adora doll. These are Adora dolls. And here is, with Missy here, here's Annalicia, isn't she? Oh my goodness, she's so sweet. And she also has an alternative Buddha symbol on her, which is so beautiful. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't wait. I can't wait to try. Like, when she came to me, she came to me with a little um, pigtails. But I can't wait to put, like, to... Do her hair. Now that I have time. Oh my goodness. Today is Saturday. A day to relax and stay. Spend time with my hobby. But look at these two sisters. Don't they look like sisters? They're so beautiful. This is Bonnie and Annalicia. Hi. So they're my alternatives. And I have Vivi. Vanessa. Who just came to me. And I still need a name for this beauty. Oh my goodness. She is so beautiful. I can't wait to do her hair too. <laughs> Isn't she cute? Oh my goodness. And this video is long. Yes, it is. What's your name, sweets? Hey, what do you look like? Mm, I name my pickles Deborah by the way so but she has a d name too for some oops probably she reminds me of dorothy is that why you remind me of dorothy in this blue and white outfit <laughs> what's your name denise i don't know if i like denise just kidding i like denise i don't have that name denise no i don't have that name denise do you like that name <sighs> denise this is Denise. Denise. And Vivi. Vanessa. And one more. Let's see if I can. I love, I love this hobby where I get to name the, the dolls. She, she, I have to look up her name because I don't even know how to spell it. Um. Also, I did get, Daisy did report me another doll, and it's a boy doll. I won't show you him today, but I named him David, and his name is spelled D-A-F-V-D-D, Y-D-D, D-A-F-Y-D-D, David. So, so this one's going to be the same sort of thing. It'll be a name that I can't, I don't know how to spell right now. I'll have to look it up. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> she 
she's like, mm, I think she's hungry too. You look like hungry. At least she's not grumpy like that other doll I opened the other day. The other month. Oh my goodness, time flies. <laughs> so anyways, guys, excuse my ramblings as always. Thank you to all the positive comments I've been receiving in Julie's group. All dolls, welcome. I love my time there. I haven't been there a lot because um, I'm just so busy. But thank you to everyone for your messages and your comments on YouTube. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I really love it. And I hope that you're having a great day wherever you are. But thank you. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I love it. So until next time, guys, take care. Much ahead. Bye guys, until next time, hopefully very, very soon, I hope. <laughs> Bye guys, have a great day. Bye. Matcha, matcha guys. Bye.